So, first thing I want to get into, I know we got the HHF Hip Hop Awards coming. Right. And I wanted, I, I wanted, I want to talk about the transition from pimping Ken right. to Ken Ivy, the right. CEO. Absolutely. Let's talk about how you went from pimping Ken and all the things that he entailed and he did to now being, you know, president and CEO. Uh, well, not not president, but CEO and owner of HHF. Well, you know. Uh I was around the country doing my thing, you know, pimping, you know, up a storm and everything, yeah, you know, yeah. mix diamonds, you know, bust downs, Rolls Royces, and you know, a bunch of, b- you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, this 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 company called HBO came to us, and they wanted us to do a, a documentary called Pimps Up, Holes Down. Mm. So me, you know, being, you know, the hustler I am, I said, yeah, let's do it. So I, I brought them to my business. I had a business in Milwaukee, a store, a clothing store. I brought them to my business. And we negotiated, and I said, "Well, I would do the movie under these terms." And I, this is my first time doing negotiation with a multi-billion-dollar corporation. Mm-hmm. So I said, "These are the terms I want." I said, "I'll do it if you let me film my movie, which is the movie Pimpology. Mm. If you let the movie end with me, and if you give me X amount of dollars." Okay. And they agreed to all the terms. And I said, "Also, I want my credit, my name in the credits." I didn't even know what the name in the credits was, but they had mentioned credits. And so I just said, I guess I used the word credits, but I didn't know that I was going to actually get my name mentioned in credit as one of the consultants yes, sir. for the project. So uh, that that gave me the the, the the affiliation of money. So now I got a film company and I got a distribution company with a, a, a script master distribution. Me and Arcanelli used to be on the same distribution company yes, sir. Uh, from a, a King of Diamonds. And then I got with Mike Walker from Southern Music Distribution. And so we just start, I started doing business. And I got, you know, like uh, in the Bible, uh, a lot of people hear David slew Goliath, but they don't mm-hmm. never hear the story where David was sitting there and listened to the perks of being the king. And when he found out what the perks of being the king was, he said, I got to be king. Mm. So one of the perks was you get concubines, you get yes, sir. Uh, all these uh, 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 fine things and so on and so forth. So when I got privy to the conversation of business, I instantly fell in love. I said, man, this is what I want to do. And I started, uh, you know, uh, putting out films. I put out five other films, and then uh, I was in Atlanta in 2000. It's a long story, but I get to the yeah. point. Uh, it was 2000. Jermaine Dupri saw me in 112 and asked me to get on his album. So I got on his album, and uh, that was the album instruction. And that's my introduction to the hip hop community. Mm. Next thing you know, two short call me. I did two songs with him, uh, Pimp C. We did five songs. I did five songs with Pastor Choi. I did one with Mac Ten, Ice T, uh, my man, uh, man, so many people, uh, 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 Trioville, Little John. I did two songs with Little John. So collectively, I did about forty million records sold mm. with my voice on it. I got about thirteen plaques, uh, uh, some, a, a, a lot of platinums, and a lot of gold. You know, my publishing checks is crazy. Come on, baby. So you know, <laughs> I mean, so so you know, those are things that led me to that side of the business, yes, and sir. then. And I said, wow, you know, uh, I want to go from the ghetto streets to the executive suite. So I made a movie called From the Ghetto Streets to the Second Suite. And I'm in all these little settings. And the next thing I know, I'm riding down the street. I get a phone call, Simon & Schuster, the biggest published company in the world. They said, hey, we got a quarter million dollars for you. No, they said, no, they didn't. Let me back up. They said, we got 5000 what was it, uh, 25000 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I told him, I said, no, they won't pay for the front end clip on my bins. Because <laughs> I had the 600 bins at yes, the time. Sir. That yes, motherfucker was like 180. <laughs> so I said, man, f- I don't need no f- uh, 25,000. So they called me back and they said a quarter million. That was about two years later. So now I'm really in the business. So that's my first big check. And all these uh, songs I'm on and all these record labels. I'm dealing with Sony, Columbia, mm-hmm. you know. So I have time for the streets no more. So I had to put Pippin' Ken, you know, to rest. And I had to, you know, start pimping Ken. So I started pimping Ken and pimping my pen. So, you know, the book was a bestseller. It sold millions. That did my second book, Independent, because it was so much money involved. And that also did pretty well. And then next thing I know, you know, I'm sitting up here. see my best friend die. And I just was, I, I was in a state of de- depression, man. It hurt me real bad because we was together every day. You know, I, I kind of gave him the motivation for starting UGK, mm-hmm. I, uh, Bankroll, and, We're gonna and talk se- about Seven, all of them. I brought them in. Mm-hmm. You know, I brought a lot of them brothers in. You know, I mean, I introduced them to Pimp. You know, uh, uh, Ivy P, he, may he rest in peace. So these were the people that, you know, helped get the UGK started from Pimp C standpoint. Wow. So now, you know, 
years later, my son, I sent him to college down here. And, you know, he was like, man, everybody, damn, everybody asked me to send some money. So I was like, man, I'm tired of sending you money. He want to do showcase every day. I said, this shit is expensive. Yeah. So I said, man, let me go and, and be philanthropic and go down here and help these people. Because I knew I had the relationships and the connections. I mean, my relationships is like almost like the president. For you sure. Know, when it comes to artists, you know, Puffy, all of them. Mm -hmm. Puffy, you know, flew me here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had a party. At, at Puffy invited me and put me in his VIP. You know, 50 Cent, I went on tour with him. You know, I'm in a PIMP video. So, yes, you know, sir. I got a lot of connections. Yes, sir. Pimp C, Nelly. So it just worked itself yeah, out. Pimp Juice, everybody I didn't work with. You know, Ludacris, all of them, I didn't work with them all. Mm -hmm. you know, I have been all their videos and all their movies. So that's that turned me into Pimp, Pimp, the philanthropist, Ken Ivy, and the businessman. So uh, so when I, my son was telling me that I came down here, I started an organization, and uh, me and Player Poncho, and we was debating on the name. So we got to look at that name. I said, man, guess what? Hip-hop is available and fraternity. Hmm. And so we knew why the names was available. We had a discussion. I said, because they never expect black folks to come together. Because the East Coast versus West Coast, you know, uh, uh, Death Row versus Bad Boy. It was obvious that this name would be available. And the record labels didn't have a model of bringing artists together. So they didn't lock the domains in the name down. So we was able to procure those names. And, you know, from there, you know, we just started pushing it. And, you know, I told everybody, I'm here, I'm in Atlanta, but I ain't running no game. There it is. So they said, what's your game? I said, no game. I said, we, gonna, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna charge nobody, we ain't gonna manipulate nobody, we're running no scam, no finesse, we just gonna let everybody in free, we gonna feed everybody, we gonna let everybody perform for free, we gonna do this for free. And nobody understood what I was doing, mm. but I understood Google and I understood uh, Mark Zuckerberg and all the other platforms, they exchanged services yes, for, for, uh, for data, so Come we was on. collecting data. And we was building a website, so we built our own social media. We built our own magazine. We built our own award show. We built our own um, magazine and uh, radio, so, which is being under, under reconstruction right now. Mm -hmm. So these were the things that you know led me into the business side. And then you know, me being a literary agent, of course, you know that too. I, I forgot about that. I did yeah. so many things. So me being a literary agent, I know I had a play. I said I got Boosie. I got Ice T. Uh, about to sign Jack Harlow. Me and Lake been talking about Jack Harlow for a substantial amount of money. I, I signed Corey Wise. So I'm signing all these people for six-figure deals, mm -hmm. millions of dollars being transferred. <clears throat> but the one thing that I knew as a businessman, I knew that eventually I would have to take them to media. Okay. So I said, when I take them to media, I'm going to simultaneously take myself to media too, and I was going to promote Hip Hop Fraternity yeah, and promote is. my platform vicariously through these brothers. Uh -huh. And that's how we was able to you know, maneuver that situation and put it, put it in perspective. And now, you know, that's how you get, uh, you know, the Key and Ivy, the business yes, man. Sir. And now we got 23 chapters all over the country. We got 4,000 members. Uh, I mean, we got Ice-T as a part of our board. We got a map, a, a, a slab from Maybach Music. Uh, right on time. Uh, we, yeah, you right on time. <laughs> we got, uh, we got a uh, uh, Yuck Mouth from the loonies. So, you know, uh, can I get some water too, boss? For sure. Yeah, so so we got all these people on the thing, and now, you know what I'm saying, me and my company is valued at $16 million. Ah, uh, man, listen. Uh, but, we, but we ain't taking 16. I need 150 yeah, we, we to a need, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to make sense. We got to get Marvin, look, 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 Marvin them pulled in, Big Brother pulled in, and make sure we get him a microphone. Look, bro. Look, look, he say, he say, he say, look, bro. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Hey, my big bro. Hey, my big bro. 